Namaskar. Welcome to Conversations with Rakesh. Here's today's question. Sir, I'm in my final year of MBA. From childhood, I'm a very competitive person by nature. I was very keen to get a pre-placement offer from the dream company where I did my summer internship, but I could not. And when I saw my other competitors in the batch get the offer, I felt terrible. What do I do to cope up? You know, I picked up this question because there's a fine line between the word competitiveness and jealousy, which I want to talk about. And we sometimes don't realize how important this emotion, jealousy, envy is for us to understand and deal with it. Because when I see students, professionals, entrepreneurs, CEOs, sometimes not realizing that the competitiveness is important, but the jealousy is more terrible for all of us. I think that's where things go wrong. So to explain this, I'll give two examples, um, maybe one or two movies, which might be interesting, a tech talk if you'd like, uh, and also then probably give you some one or two suggestions. Uh, and I'm not using this entire concept from us from a place of expertise. I'm not an expert. I'm not a psychologist. I don't understand this whole emotions very well. But I'm a human being and I feel jealous too. Jalan, jise hum log Hindi mein bolte hai. In fact, the best explanation of the word Jalan, Irsha, Hindi mein bolte hai. Jealousy, envy was there in Three Idiots. And there's a scene in Three Idiots where uh, the results are out and Raju Rastogi and Farhan look at the marks and they find their names in the bottom and they are cool with it because they never studied and they knew that they are not going to get good marks or rank then they say that okay let's see where rancho is and they look at the same bottom and rancho is not there because rancho is on the top and that causes them devastation because and the dialogue is that um, you know when you see your best friend getting the first rank that feeling is the worst feeling in the world, which is jalan, isha, and many more complex emotions which can trigger sadness, anger, so many other complex emotions that come in. And perhaps you are going through the same because one is you did not get the job, which can be devastating. But the second is there could be someone who's your competitor, your rival. And when they get the job or when they succeed, you feel even worse. And competition is important. To have a competitive nature is very important in our lives because it drives us forward. It gives us a benchmark to do better. You know, the story of uh, Scott versus Amundsen, the 1913 race to the South Pole, is a classic textbook example of competition. South Pole could not have been discovered if there wasn't a bitter rivalry between two teams. Uh, the British and the Norwegians, Edison versus Tesla. Uh, all the innovations that we now see, electricity and the way it has changed our lives and now electric cars, come from the bitter rivalry of these two giants. There's a lovely movie Ford versus Ferrari. Ford wanted to create a car and race the Ferraris and it's a beautiful concept of how the Shelby was created. So competition is very, very important. But I think in this competitive landscape, we miss out that if the emotion that is fueling competition is progress, growth, you're okay. But if the emotion that is fueling competition is jealousy and envy, then things can get very, very dangerous. Christopher Nolan's movie, The Prestige, two bitter rivals. And both of them killing each other just because, not that they were competitive, but they were jealous of each other. Both of them did not want the other person to succeed. They wanted to be number one all the time. And jealousy has this problem. In fact, the roots of jealousy come from our childhood. You know, I was the younger sibling. And when I saw more attention being given to my elder sibling, I would feel bad. It's very classic. If you look at relationships, if you look at uh, love and romance, jealousy can devastate spouses and relationships just because you start thinking that why is it that my 
uh, husband or wife is not giving me attention but giving more attention to someone else and that is the seed of jealousy so jealousy has two very important things that i understood after realizing my own jealousy points the first is as a human being i want appreciation and i'm very greedy i want all the appreciation to myself so that is level number 1 of jealousy but that's not all the second level of jealousy is that i want all the appreciation but others should also not get it to give you an example let's say your dream job is in this great company and you really are very very excited to get this dream job i think if everybody in your batch gets a job in the same company i don't think you'll be very excited so you want the dream job and you also want others not to get it so one of my close friends gave me this quotation about his wisdom of life and he had i think a in somewhere in his linkedin or maybe in his email signature we all had these quotations in the end so his quotation was i must not win others must lose which is a very hard hitting quotation ki bhale hi main nahi jeetu wo chalega par dusron ko nahi jeetna chahiye and that is a very good point that i want you to start thinking about that jealousy could cause these problems in us it can devastate us we compare with others competitiveness fuels us but jealousy can consume us which is what happened in this brilliant movie called amadeus it was an oscar movie which was the story of mozart in the 18th century vienna and uh, how he came in as this amazing breath of fresh music in the country and how the court musician his name was antonio salieri he got very jealous imagine you are the court musician you are very popular in the city everybody respects you but then now comes the superstar and the whole attention goes to the superstar it can be devastating and salieri was devastated so that whole movie is a chronicle of how salieri stages a plan to almost throw mozart out and the controversy still exists there is a huge controversy that pe- people say that maybe salieri caused mozart's death at the age of 35 it hasn't been proved and the whole movie documents that and it's a brilliant masterpiece oscar winning performances what a storyline and what cinematography but what you should understand from that movie is that salieri did succeed to take mozart out from his life but that jealousy did not stop he was consumed by it throughout his life once mozart went his music still remained people forgot salieri's more music and that consumed him it was like slow poison and he ended up in a mental asylum in the end that's where he finally realizes that what a terrible life he was living and he makes the first change of his life that he finally accepts that he was not a gifted musician as mozart he starts to realize his own mediocrity and that's when he probably makes peace with himself so here is my request to all of you that jealousy is a very very brutal emotion and uh, you have a choice in fact there is this very nice uh, graphic visualization of this quotation that comes from uh, the indian cinemarica uh, this is pictured in this marvelous book by gavin nong pan there is a small boy who's very upset jealousy is killing that boy because he is very upset so his grandfather uh, takes him to a corner and says that there are two wolves inside you the first wolf is anger jealousy insecurity bitterness rage and the second wolf is kindness compassion faith and both of the wolves are fighting and the boy is listening intently and that's where the grandfather stands up and walks away so the child is bewildered that okay i understand the two wills wolves but he runs to the grandfather and asks who wins the fight and the grandfather turns back and says the one you feed it's a very powerful concept jealousy as a emotion can suck you 
and there's a TED talk by Parul Sagal. He says that jealousy is a hungry emotion. It has to be fed. Now, if you keep feeding that, your life is gone. The wolf, which is full of anger and jealousy, wins. But if you feed the other wolf, which is that of kindness and compassion and acceptance and faith, probably you can win the battle. So my request to you is, please change hatred and jealousy to admiration and acceptance. I think you will have a great way of dealing with what has happened to you. If you let bitterness and jealousy guide you, I think you'll wreck your life. Because today you did not get the job. Tomorrow you'll go to a company and you won't get a promotion. But somebody else will get it. So you'll be jealous there also. Then maybe you'll get married and you'll buy a house. And then your best friend buys a bigger house and you'll get jealous there also. In fact, social media is nothing but probably an ocean of jealousy. Instagram, people posting their photos of how successful and they're traveling and they're having a great burger is nothing but your triggers to get jealous. So please watch what you're watching. Social media will play games with your mind, but it will also fuel that wolf inside you, which is full of bitterness, anger, jealousy. And if you can stop feeding that wolf and move to admiration, acceptance, compassion, I think you'll be able to deal with it. So please stop comparing. I beg you. Please accept who you are. Not every day you're going to win. This is where sports people do a great job of understanding competitiveness, but not getting too jealous about it. What they do is that after every match, let's say they don't win, they go and admire each other. They shake hands. So here's a tip for you. All the other batchmates who got the job, go to them and say congratulations. Admire them. That process will heal your jealousy. But if you are going to sulk in one place and be bitter about it, you are only going to dissolve yourself in this acid of bitterness, which will be very bad for you. So please try and do it. I know it's hard. Coming out of these issues is not easy. We are human beings. Everybody in the world is jealous. Uh, there are stories of how jealousy can kill us. So we are in normal company everybody feels jealous but if we keep feeding jealousy that wolf will win but if we come to admiration kindness compassion acceptance and faith i think you'll have a great life stay safe